Hey guys, in this video, I'll show you how to fix PNG transparency issues in Blender. Alright, let's get started. First, select your PNG image from the Image Texture node. Sometimes, you'll notice the PNG isn't transparent. Here's how to fix that. Simply connect the alpha output of the image texture to the alpha input of the principal BSDF shader. That should solve the problem. Still getting a black image? Make sure your image texture isn't overlapping or fused with another mesh face. Set a small offset distance, for example, 0.001, to separate it slightly. That should restore the transparency. So, what if you want to use an emission shader instead? You can. Just connect the color output of the image texture to the emission node. Place underneath the principal BSDF, set the strength to 1, and change the base color. This allows you to recolor the black areas of the PNG, but if you want to keep the original colors, just set it back to black. Want to skip the principal BSDF altogether and just use emission? That works too. Here's how. Use a transparent BSDF shader and a mixed shader node. Plug the emission shader into shader 2 and transparent BSDF into shader 1. Connect the alpha output from the image texture to the factor input of the mix shader. Then, connect the mix shader to the material output. Make sure your emission goes into shader 2 and transparent into shader 1, not the other way around. Also, ensure the color in the transparent BSDF is set to white. The PNG transparency issue is now fixed, but actually, there's an even faster method where you don't need to set up nodes manually. Just right-click in the viewport, go to Image, and choose Images as Planes. Select your PNG image, and, on the right side, under Options, check Use Image Sequence if you're working with face textures. Below that, you can pick a shader, principled, shadeless, or emission, all will be set up automatically. I'll start by choosing the principled shader, then click Import Images. When importing more than eight or nine images, Blender splits them into groups. For example, I imported 18 images, and Blender created two planes, each with nine images. Right now, I'm not sure how to increase the import limit. If you know, please share it in the comments. To fix this, I just deleted one of the planes, then manually selected and reassigned the 18 images using the Image Texture node. For Emission and Shadeless Shaders, just follow the same steps as before. Now, how do you place the PNG image onto the face of your mesh? My method is using Snap with the Magnet tool. Set the Snap target to Face, then enable Face Project. Just snap it to the area you want and scale the image mesh accordingly. Or, if you want to place it precisely, go to Edit Mode, select a vertex where you want to place the image, press Shift plus S, then choose Cursor to select it, go back to Object Mode, select the image face, then press Shift plus S, and choose Selection to Cursor. Make sure the origin of the image object is at the center of its surface. If it's not, right-click the object, go to Set Origin, then choose Origin to Center of Mass Surface. After that, adjust its position slightly so it doesn't overlap or stick to the mesh. Finally, parent the image mesh to the main body. And with that, we're all set. Thanks for watching. If this helped you out, don't forget to like and subscribe for more Blender tutorials. See you in the next one.